Have you started studying for the AP Biology exam? Do you want to buy a prep book? Well, there's so many options out there, and it's sometimes hard to decide which AP Biology prep book could be the best one for you. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite AP Biology prep books and how to decide which book you might want to buy for yourself. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands or publishers. This is just my opinion as a teacher and information I've gathered from other students throughout the years of teaching AP Biology. So even though there may be a lot of options out there, I'm going to help you narrow it down today in this video. I've also gathered some poll information from this YouTube channel, so I'm going to share the winning answers to that poll in this video, and if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on future content like my polls or other important videos I have coming out. All right, so you're ready to study for the AP Biology exam. Choosing a prep book can be challenging because there are so many options and it might not be something assigned directly to you by your teacher. This is a personal choice based on your study style, your study plan, and the type of preparation you want to do for yourself. Are you trying to cram the weekend before the exam, or are you planning out a more self-paced study program months ahead? And how much do you want to spend on a prep book? All of these things are going to help you determine which biology prep book is best for you. There's also a few considerations you want to make when you're evaluating prep books. So I would recommend going to a physical store or getting information from videos like this before you purchase something online. Obviously, I'm making this video in 2021 in the time of COVID, so you want to be as safe as possible. One thing you can do is if you're safe and comfortable doing it, go in person to a store and compare the books by flipping through them. Make sure you stay tuned for the end for all of my recommendations and how to be really really successful with your study plan for the AP Biology exam. All right, first consideration and probably the most important one, you want to make sure that your prep book matches the current exam course description. So this is something put out by the College Board who runs the exam, and they dictate everything that's going to be on the AP Biology exam. Well, in 2019, they revamped all of that. So you want to make sure you're purchasing a prep book that was published in 2020 or updated as a new edition in 2020 or later. Now, this does make it a little difficult to buy used versions of books. These are both used versions of AP Biology prep books that I had in my classroom that I had, but they're no longer exactly aligned to the content on the AP Biology exam. So you want to be careful of that. One way to do this online is if you're scrolling through the information and you're on Amazon, for example, go down to the product details and verify when it was published. You can also check this on other websites or if you're in person, go to the first few pages, generally before the table of contents in a prep book. And if it doesn't say it on the back or the front, you can flip it open to the copyright information and find when it was published. And this one was published in 2015, so this is clearly out of date and probably not a prep book that you want to choose for your study program. But I'm not saying Barron's isn't good. It is one of my top choices. Okay, another consideration you want to make is price, obviously. It really depends how much you want to spend, and there's different versions, obviously. There's, there's physical paperback versions like this. There's online e-versions if you want to choose an e-reader. But one thing that's good about a prep book is that if you want to use it for yourself, you may want to get the physical version so that you can mark up circle responses as you're going through. Or if you want to highlight, obviously highlighting isn't one of the best ways to study. Be sure to check out my videos on best ways to study. But you want to think about how you want to use that prep book to decide if you should get the digital version or the print version. Sometimes there'll be specials online that actually sell the digital versions for really cheap. I know Kaplan every so often will publish their version for free on Kindle. So keep an eye out for sales for the digital digital version as well. The next consideration you want to make is what is actually in your prep book. As you're going through, some prep books like this one, this is an older five steps to a five version, are just practice questions. And I think that's great. Practice questions are actually one of the best ways to study. And then in the back, it has detailed explanations of the answers for each of these questions. So the questions are grouped by content category, and then you can go and answer as many questions and many types of questions as you want, and then grade yourself, but also see the, see the explanations for those correct responses in the back. So that's one thing to look at as well. What is the ratio of practice questions to content that you want to see in a prep book? If you feel like you need more background information because your teacher hasn't been explaining it well enough or you just don't understand, then you may want to get a prep book that has a little bit more content explanation as well as practice questions. So let's get into it. Which prep books do I recommend? Well, the number one choice on the poll that you guys responded to and the one I hear a lot of my students really enjoying is the Princeton Review. This is one of the most popular prep book series online among all of my students. They have several different versions of their prep books. They'll try to upsell you with the premium edition with more practice tests. 
I wouldn't recommend going for that. Sitting down to do six practice tests for the AP Biology exam is quite a lot in addition to taking the course. You're probably going to be good with just the three practice tests in the original Princeton Review AP Biology prep book. So the most current edition in 2021 has a little chimpanzee on the cover, and there's three full-length practice tests in this book, as well as content descriptions of each of the units in AP Biology. Chapters 4 through 11 will go through the content that is in the AP, AP Biology course. There's also laboratory explanations for the lab you should know and be familiar with, as well as full-length practice tests. A lot of students really like this for the content explanations. I wouldn't say this is the best as far as practice questions go. The full-length tests are great. We don't have a large book of questions aligned to each content piece, so it's not necessarily one of my, my favorite books, but a lot of students love it and they find great success with it. So if you want to buy the Princeton Review, I'll give it a thumbs up. Next up, I'm going to recommend Barron's. This is a very popular series. The most current edition is a little bit cheaper than the Princeton Review. Their premium version has five practice tests. Again, a little bit of overkill, but it's still going to be useful for you. They break down each chapter with lots of practice questions and good answer explanations as you go through. It's kind of similar to the setup of the Princeton Review Guide. I've liked Barron's. A lot of students like Barron's as a good study tool. Again, make sure you're getting a version that is aligned to the current exam. All right, the number three I'm going to recommend is my favorite, which is not as popular with a lot of students, but the Five Steps to a Five series. You do want to make sure you're getting a version that is up to date. I don't think they have the practice question exclusive book quite yet published for the new standards, but I do think it is a good option for you, especially the regular edition, which is also available on Amazon. This book has really good explanations, like I said, of the answers to the questions, and I think it's organized in a really good way. They do a good job of breaking down the content. They have a diagnostic exam to figure out what you need to know. I do think it's a really well organized exam prep book. Kaplan is another one I would recommend. Kaplan does sometimes release their resource for free. It's another one that I have heard students doing well with. Not as popular as Barron's or the Princeton Review. Another less popular one, but still some people voted for it on my online poll, was the Cliff Notes AP Biology prep version. This also breaks the content down section by section according to the exam updates and has a really good selection of multiple choice and free response practice questions. And Cliff Notes is a really affordable option too if you look at the price comparisons against some of the other ones. So if I had to break it down to my top four book recommendations, I would say number one, five steps to a five. I just really like their practice questions and explanations. Number two, Princeton Review because of its popularity. Number three, Barron's. Again, another really popular, easily readable choice for students. And then number four, the Cliff Notes version. If you have another prep book that's not on my list, that's okay. All of these are good in some way, and they're all going to help with your AP Biology exam prep. You want to make sure you're using your prep book actively and you're not just highlighting the sections to read, but you're doing the practice questions, you're using their study tip recommendations, and you're using it actively. You don't have to buy a prep book. There's lots of AP exam study resources out there. For example, just looking up the College Board old released FRQs is a really great way to do practice questions and probably going to be the most closely aligned to what you'll see on the actual exam. Remember, none of these books are actually released by the College Board. These are just other companies who have created questions and descriptions of content that goes along with what the College Board said is going to be on the exam, but won't exactly be the same thing as what the College Board is releasing. None of these companies actually know what's going to be on the exam. It's just their best guess. Now remember, a prep book is only going to be as worth as much as you actually put into it. Are you going to use it? Are you going to read it? Are you going to do the practice questions? So make sure that when you're purchasing a prep book, you're actually going to be using it. Some people feel like they have to have a prep book in order to prepare for the exam. I don't think that's true, but if it does make you feel more comfortable, then go for it. Go ahead and use a prep book for your exam prep. Another video I'm going to be walking you through of how to create a study plan for AP Biology to actually get you up to the exam date. If you have other questions or things that you're concerned about for the AP Biology exam, put those in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful, and I'll see you later.